Hi, and welcome to Z Tech News. I'm Johnny Z, and today is episode 11. It's in the morning. I'm half asleep again. Hat on to hide my messy hair like this. See? And today we're going to be talking about a few things. Okay. The main thing we're going to be talking about is gaming accessories what you need to attach to your computer to have a really good experience like headphones not mine these are not mine not a big diva fan good headphones make a big difference controllers old 360 xbox 360 whoop old xbox 360 controller i have one and then i have a newer one uh, which is great for two players but We'll talk about that in a bit. First of all, uh, another thing I'm noticing at the store, um, people who want the new NVIDIA RTX cards, why didn't you pre-order them? Don't call the store expecting them to be there because just because it was released on a certain day doesn't mean we're going to get them. Reason being is big giant ty typhoons out in, uh, in Taiwan and Hong Kong are going to delay shipments so you're going to have to wait b um why didn't you put a uh, a pre-order a pre-order you'd pay in full but you guarantee yourself whatever card comes in it will be under your name just don't call up the store and say hey do you guys have any because we might not have any because a lot of them probably went to people who pre-ordered first okay they pre-ordered first so it goes to them first whatever's left over will come to us and having so many stores that we have to all manage everybody gets a little bit just a couple here a couple there a couple here so um please please when you want something really really bad like the new rtx cards especially um the rtx uh 2080 ti uh which is the seems like the most sought after card right now please pre-order come on it's not that hard just put out the money and you'll get it that's the main thing if you keep on calling a store and saying do you guys have it do you guys have it do you guys have it do you guys got it? i mean literally i got five calls in a row because the ti was supposed to come out yesterday we didn't get any in i actually double checked our shipment uh wasn't even we haven't even went through the inventory of it but i went to take a look there was nothing in there so nobody pre-ordered from our store so we didn't get any we're not going to get like 20 of them and start stocking that may be later once all the confusion and all the stuff out east in in taiwan and hong kong get all sorted out and nvidia or gigabyte msi and all the other companies start shipping out on mass then we'll get them but if you can't wait pre-order please that's important just pre-order the cards and you'll be better off and you'll have it in your hot little hands. Uh, what's another thing that I was thinking about? Um, NVIDIA. You know what? We just talked about NVIDIA. I don't want to talk about it anymore. And um, uh, just uh, just to let you, know, you guys know, also, rumor has it, new uh, AMD graphics cards will be coming out in early 2019. That's the rumor going on right now. So keep your eyes peeled for that if you're an amd fan um so we now we got the and also rumor not rumor but the R, the rtx 720 will be coming up but here's the kick here's the real interesting about the graphics card part is that at the store we are getting tons of older gtx cards 1080s no not so much 1080s so 1060s 1050s seems like they just came out of nowhere I wonder if there's still a market. I'm, a, I'm, I. There is. I mean, for the budget uh, uh, PC builder, there's always a market for that kind of stuff. But the most important thing is, is that we're we're getting a ton of these, and I don't see too many people buying them. I mean, we're running out of space putting this stuff. People want the latest and greatest. Do they still want the old stuff? Yeah, there's a small market for that, possibly. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. It's it's an interesting it's an interesting conundrum. So that's that's the Nvidia thing I wanted to talk about. Now let's get to our to our main thing. Gaming accessories. The most important thing to make your rig really stand out and get your game that much higher. 
And trust me, as an old time gamer, so you can tell, you know, I've been gaming for a very long time. The right keyboard, the right mouse, the right controller, the right flight stick, and the right headphones will make a world of difference. Just to give you an example, uh, where are my crappy headphones? There they are. Okay. Asus. You would think they make great headphones, right? No, not this one. Crap. Now, you know what? I never knew they were crap until at the store we set up. We have a new gamer zone. We got four machines, all different machines, all different configurations, and you can sit down and play. One of the stations we set up a Logitech G430 headset. Gorgeous the Logitech blue on them and stuff like that. The difference between these and those Logitech ones was humongous in difference. These range around, on sale, they're around 30 bucks. Normal price is 50 bucks. The other ones are $100. That extra amount of money makes a world of difference. Um, I'm a big War Thunder fan. I love the flight aspect. I love the tank aspect. If you guys haven't tried it and you're into the sort of that world war ii to modern sort of tanks and airplanes uh they're working on battleships now that's almost done uh check it out uh, it's a it's a blast of a game to play uh if you want to actually if you want to join me in a game please do we can team up just you know leave a message on uh, on what's it called uh on youtube with your steam uh tag and we'll you know we'll we'll get a game up and running anyways besides that the difference in the bass alone, you, you know, you would think these headphones would have some serious bass to them. Well, guess what? They don't. Not even close. Okay, let me give you an example. So when you, when, a, the, when there's a plane behind you and he's sort of on your tail and firing at you, you hear the bullets. First of all, there's no surround sound on these things. So you don't know what's coming in from behind you. It's hard to tell. Second of all, there's no base. So when the bullets are whizzing by you or if the plane's really close by and he's firing all his machine guns on him, it's a pew, pew, pew type of thing. Put on those Logitech 430s and dude, what a difference. It's like pump, 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 pump. You hear the bullets whizzing by. There's detail in the sound of the bullets whizzing by. There's detail in stuff that I haven't heard of. There was chatter there was like onboard sort of, ch not chatter from, from players, but chatter within the game that you can hear in the background while you're being fired upon and just uh, mind blown, just uh, totally blown, blown to pieces, just how well it is. So I implore everybody. Actually, my daughter's, uh, uh, what's it called, Razer headset here are actually very good. They're not surround sound, but they do have a lot of bass to them. So I actually kind of use these, you know. Yeah, I look, I look stupid with them. You see? Dumb, isn't it? Yeah, but at least I'm in the basement and nobody can tell, right? Anyway. So there's those. Uh, so base is, a, is an issue. It's not an, it's not an issue. It's something that you th should think about. So when you're going to buy headphones, okay? If you are thrifty and you don't want to spend a lot of money... Look at the $100 uh, headphones and wait till they get on sale. Once they get on sale, scoop them up. That's the best thing you can do. Uh, the sales are better than our employee discounts, so we wait for the sales also. Check websites. Check your favorite store. Go and visit them. Find out. <coughs> Excuse me. And then you'll know for sure that you'll be getting good headphones. Or if you don't care for price... From $100 to $200, you're guaranteeing yourself great headphones. Do some research online um, and see what other people are playing. But bass and detail, okay? Every All of them have the highs there. They may not be the best highs, but they're there. So you'll get that. But bass is important. And bass is hard to reproduce on, uh, on cheap headphones. With more expensive headphones, there are better drivers inside, better magnets, they're heavier but they won't destroy your head hopefully and you'll get a much better experience so good headphones is number one okay number two uh, nobody can see this well there you go 
Logitech mouse. I've been using Logitech mice and keyboards for now 30 years, 30 years, 35 years. I even had the original mouse, three button mouse that Logitech created back in the late 80s that you can use for DOS. Yes, for DOS, um, for a number of programs that uh, allowed it. So that is one of the things I look into and is this Logitech mouse, the 502 Spectrum, right? Uh, there. Uh, yeah, okay. You can get the RGB version. I didn't care so much for the RGB version, but doesn't matter this thing is great not only that it's heavy okay there's some weight to it and the good thing about the weight about it is it has weights that you can put in there it comes with five little sort of um sort of arrowed or what's the word um i can't even think of the word oh there you go john's going stupid anyway there's weights in it that you can lessen the weight add the weight you know sort of make it as good as you want it to make it for your style of gaming and that's the important thing corsair has some good uh, some good um uh mice also i didn't like the clave it has this weird side thing it sticks out and it's it felt really weird go to a store you know buy online is great but you don't get to feel and touch this stuff i mean if you're a gamer and you're serious about it go to a store see if they have all these demos out Go, feel it, touch it, see how it works, put your hand over it. Does it work for you? I mean, the sensitivity and stuff you can play with on the PC, but when you put your hand on it, does it fit your hand? Does it feel comfortable? Is there RGB? Does it make it look cool? Look at those things. And then you can also look for stuff that's cheaper that, you know, there's something that you, you know, because some of the Logitech stuff, again, okay, going back a little bit. The Logitech and Corsair stuff are very good. Look for sales. Do not buy them at full price. If you got the money, go buy full price. But just wait for sales. When the when a store advertises a sale on some of this stuff, go run out and get it. You won't regret it. Now, some of the cheaper stuff that I was going to say, again, go feel them. Go touch them. Go see how they feel. If they're good for you, then you save some money. Great. Bonus. And get yourself a good mouse. Okay, uh, number three now, keyboard, okay? The cheapo Logitech, Microsoft, any cheapo under $20 keyboard for gaming just won't cut it. The feel is very uh, squishy, if that's a word, squishy. Um, there's no tactile. There's no good feeling on it. A good mechanical keyboard will give you that feeling so when you're using the WASD keys it feels you feel more connected uh, to what you're doing a mechanical keyboard will give you that now again giant giant price golfs on some of these things I've seen an Asus me a mechanical keyboard and nothing wrong about Asus but $350 for a keyboard really no, that's too much money. Again, you got the money and you love aces, go for it. Go nuts. Not stopping you. But if you're on a budget, again, look for sales. Look at Logitech. Look at Corsair. Corsair makes beautiful mechanical keyboards. But also, there's a few other players that make mechanical keyboards using the cherry switches. And you can select which switch you want. Uh, right now, I have the red ones. Um... <clears throat> excuse me make sure um that i forgot what i was going to say <laughs> just make sure that the price is what you're looking at oh no wait no that's not what i was talking about there's another brand that's making cherry keyboards that are actually very very competitive number one cougar from germany makes some really good rgb stuff and very very good keyboards again with the uh with the uh with the mechanical switches and they feel good and the prices are right second of all hyper x good old kingston has come out with a line of their alloy line which is again cherry uh mx um uh key switches and their prices are very very competitive i mean for a very high end not a very high end one but a middle of the road one will cost you 
about a hundred to a hundred and twenty on sale, maybe down to sixty bucks, eighty bucks, and you get yourself a really good keyboard. Some of them, um, some of those price ranges ones don't have full RGB. Uh, mine was on sale for sixty three bucks. Uh, my keyboard is a Logitech one and uh, it's just a single collar but it'll do all the breathing effects and all the other stuff and it's all lit up it's only white but it's 63 bucks if you want full rgb yes you're going to end up paying for it more but again look for those a little bit budget ones like the the, the hyper x or actually cooler master makes some some pretty good keyboards um who else cougar um that's about it i can think of right now yeah there's just so much stuff out there it's hard to remember it all and that's another thing that's one of my pet peeves uh at the store when people ask me a question it's like well don't you know everything about this stuff it's like have you seen what's in the store have you seen how much stuff we have how am i supposed to remember every single little thing in all their specifications even the guys younger than me can't remember everything that's why we collaborate on a lot of this stuff so you know, be patient with us. We'll help you out. Uh, so let's see. So we did, we did headphones. Okay, we did mice. We've done keyboards. Um, what else are we missing here? Oh yes, the good old controller. You know, you guys didn't know this. Now, after there was a, there was. I think Steam did one of their let's see what's on everybody's machines and they found out that a lot of gamers are using controllers. Now the funny thing is they're not using the Steam controller but they're going out and buying a lot of controllers out there. Now there's a plethora of controllers that you can buy out there. Logitech again makes some different models at different prices that are very good very compatible with your Windows PC. Um, Xbox 360 controllers wired are very easy to set up uh, there's a company called PDP that makes actually Xbox one looking remotes I guess they have the rights or the you know they they can use some of the intellectual property so they make Xbox one controllers that can plug into your PC and also plug into the Xbox one and they're cheaper they're around I think the $40 range around there 40 50 dollar range and they're 100% compatible with all the games out there, 100% uh, compatible with Steam. So there's some deals to be found over there. And, you know, who doesn't want to, you know, on some of... Because if you're... The thing I've noticed, if, if you're a console gamer that's moving to the PC now because there's so many op more opportunities and more things on the PC, that a lot of people are still carrying over the, 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 the controller thing, which is great, which is no problem. And just get yourself a good one that's comfortable if you you know if you're comfortable with um with an xbox uh controller you know grab one for the pc hook it up you're good to go i mean no learning curve uh, a lot of the logitech ones took after the ps3 setup with the two controllers nearby again you can use that and if i'm not mistaken and i haven't looked into this and don't shoot me uh you might be able to use the ps4 controller the PS3 controller you can, but I've tried and it's a headache to get it going. Too many stupid drivers, too many things, and it never really worked for me, so I gave up on it. So, controllers. If you're a flight simulator guy, you must, must, must get a flight stick. Or one of the HOTAS things with the, with the full throttle, with all the buttons on it and stuff like that. Let's see that. You know, get those. But again, here's another example. We had uh, Thrustmaster's cheapo, not cheapo setup. It was like, it's, it's you know, it's pretty expensive. And it's around, um, I think, $50, $60. And it has, you know, the throttle on one side and the joystick. And uh, so we had it in the, store for, in, in the store for demo. And once in a while, when it wasn't busy, I'd jump on there and, and play a little War Thunder with the airplanes. And guess what? I had a hell of a time with the mouse and keyboard. I finished number one, but it doesn't give you that satisfaction of flying an airplane. Mouse and keyboard on an air, uh, flying a flight sim, it, it, yeah, it's just not there. It's not. It doesn't have that. I'm flying a plane. 
Do you understand? So I used that, couldn't hit anything. I played, I don't know how many matches, not in one that one sitting, but tried so many times, couldn't hit a plane. Then we ended up getting a Logitech uh, 3D Extreme in the store, and guess what? Thing handles better. There's no Hotas part. There's no throttle, but the throttle has like a little, a little thingy at the bottom that you can use as a throttle. And guess what? Three kills. I was able to fly around, no problem. It had more control. The potentiometers and the spring inside the joystick was much more solid and I was able to do all you know high yo-yo low yo-yos all the all the um, all the combat skills you need to evade people and also get onto somebody's tail and stay on there and that joystick helped out immensely so again that joystick is actually you know what we have it at our it's normally priced at sixty dollars but we have it at our store for forty. And that's retail. So that's that's a steal. That If you're one of those people, you jump on that. Now, if you want to go a little bit further, here's another joystick that we tried. was the Thrustmaster 1600, which has this magnetic thing inside and also has a nice metal uh, pole that goes through the joystick and through the base. And the controls are so smooth. Again... What did I? What happened to me? Played just played once, and I ended up getting two kills on it. So again, a better joystick. Now, this the the, the Thrustmaster sixteen hundred. You can buy the joystick alone, which has a throttle on it, like a slider thing in the back. But also, you can buy later on the throttle part, which a whole bunch of buttons and stuff like that. And to top it all off, it comes with. Rudder pedals, so you don't have to do the twisty thing on the joystick. So, if you're on a budget, you can build this stuff slowly and get a full setup. Or, you can buy the throttle and the joystick together. Or, <laughs> here's the best part, you can buy all three at the same time with the pedals. So, the joystick alone, I think, is about $80. The, th the throttle and the joystick is about 120 but after playing that and the feeling, the smoothness and the reaction, I find it better than the Logitech. And the price for the joystick alone is around eighty dollars, if I'm not mistaken, maybe ninety. Uh, with the th with the thrust with the thruster, it's about mm, I can't remember offhand, but around one hundred and fifty. So that alone uh, gives you that better experience, and you know it's. If you want to play games and get immersive, no matter what game you play, I mean, if you play an RTS, keyboard or mouse is your best. Flight simulators, joystick. Um, platformer games, dungeon crawlers, stuff, any any sort of game that, can, that uses uh, a controller smartly, even a first-person shooter, a nice controller will, 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 make, will make things uh, go for you a lot better. Now, also remember, there's a lot of controllers out there that are like 10 bucks. Okay, they work fine, but the only problem is, is like you, you know, you pull the trigger and the trigger doesn't engage until you're halfway through. That's no good. You know, if you just want to, you know, with these better ones here, you just touch this here. You just touch this and it changes. It does its full analog sweep. The cheaper ones don't. Okay, so stay away from that. Again, if you can't afford anything better, that's fine. You can pick those up too, but they're not going to give you the control and what you need to be the best in your game by playing uh, by using one of those. So if you don't have the money, just save your money. Just wait a little bit. Wait. Don't rush into buying this stuff. Wait. Get something better. And it will always make it worth your time. If it's something very cheap, it's not going to be very good, plain and simple. But... There's something in the middle of the road that can be the best bang for your buck. That can be a surprise or an uh, Easter egg that's, that, you know, it should command a better price. It should command a, a higher price, but it's priced low enough that it's amazing. Like it's, it's punching above its weight type of thing, what a lot of people say. And now those you can only find when people discuss them on the internet. And if you find that and you find that item on sale, jump on it run 
don't or don't walk run and get it and you'll be the happiest person so so far those are the major items for for gaming accessories now with christmas coming up and black friday get your list together and see what you can do and enjoy you know the big steam sales that usually come up at christmas time so anyways that's it i'm johnny z this is episode i think 11 uh for 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 uh for gaming accessories and again we'll see you next time take care everybody